Right, St. Louis investigators continue to try and figure out what caused a massive fire last week that destroyed a former Catholic church turned skate park. But the damage didn't stop there. A nearby farm was also devastated by the fire. New tonight, our Brent Solomon is here to explain how that farm serves as a food resource for people in North City. That's right, we're talking about the New Roots Urban Farm. It's located directly next to the former St. Laborious Church. We've introduced you to those working to get the old church back up. Now meet the man behind the farm who is also hoping to rebound. I call myself the king of sunflowers. Meet Antoine Adams. Well, one of my sunflowers here. These are some of the sunflowers grown taller than a human being. He takes pride in what you see here. I grow premium organic fruits and veggies. It's the New Roots Urban Farm on Hogan Street in North City. A big resource for the community. I give away all of my fruits and veggies. I've been doing that for the last five years. I use my chickens and my baby bunnies to create what I call cuddle therapy for kids, adults, and seniors. Right now, though, that goodwill has come to a halt. Last week, flames consumed the old St. Laborious Church, a former church turned skate park and art studio. Adams got the call. Oh, hell broke it loose. Top of the roof was on fire. He commends firefighters for working to prevent it from spreading to nearby homes and businesses. Unfortunately, his farm took a hit. All of the water just rushed to farm. When the firemen came in, hosing down the area, they damaged the greenhouse and it flooded and it killed over a dozen baby chicks. He says it is no longer safe to grow produce. Right now I'm deeming this area a hazard land. You do not want heavy toxins and metals in your in your food. I had planted, just planted 100 tomato plants, 50 um, pepper plants, um, over 50 peanut plants. Um, I keep Swiss chard collards, mustard greens. Right now, there's a GoFundMe to help the farm. So when the hose came in, the farm Adams man, believes uh, it could been. take years to remediate the soil here and bounce back. I will still be here to do that. I am this community. The New Roots Urban Farm has been around for 20 years now. Adams says he refuses to let it go. Saturday, there's a volunteer effort underway to help clean up. All you have to do is show up. It's from 9 in the morning until 6 p.m.